Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about things that I personally do to make the water I drink as healthy as possible. So I'm going to go over spring water, I'm going to go over what filtration systems I use, um, how to structure your water, and some tips on how to drink more water throughout the day because water is essential for us and we want to make sure that we're getting the best quality water that we can. So yeah, basically this video is going to be all about water and I hope you enjoy it. So there's a lot of debate about what type of water is the healthiest water to drink. And in my opinion, spring water is the ideal water. If I could just drink from a spring for the rest of my life, I would be very happy. Spring water comes from aquifers deep within the ground and it actually goes through Earth's natural filtration process. So what that means is it could be going through hundreds of thousands of feet of filtration material. And since it is being filtered by the earth, you get all these amazing minerals in it. So minerals that are essential for good health, like calcium and magnesium. And spring water usually has a neutral to alkaline pH. And spring water is structured water. Structured water, also known as hexagonal water, refers to water with a structure that forms a hexagonal cluster. It's the most bioavailable state of water, and it's believed to have many health benefits. And of course, if you are collecting spring water straight from the earth, you want to make sure that you're collecting it from a spring that's been tested for contaminants because, you know, you never know bacteria, pathogens could be in the water. So just make sure it's been tested. I've been drinking spring water straight from the earth for many, many years and I haven't got sick once from it. And it just tastes really good. It has a very mineral rich taste, very refreshing. I just think there's no water like spring water. And if you are looking for a spring in your area to collect water, a really great website is findaspring.com and it kind of lists all the springs in your area. So hopefully you have one. I'm lucky enough to have one not too far from me. So I try to get out there as much as I can. There's just something about drinking water straight from the earth that's so special. It's kind of like how picking berries straight off a bush always tastes better than buying berries in a package at the store. It's just so much better to collect it straight from nature. And if you're wondering my thoughts on bottled spring water, I don't drink it, I stay away from it. If it's in a plastic bottle, that plastic can be leaching chemicals into your water. And yeah, I just think it's not very healthy so I stay away from that but I do understand that not everybody lives near a spring or has the time to go and collect spring water so I do want to give you some options that you can incorporate into your life that will make your water as healthy as possible because there's a lot you can do to enhance your water. I also try and stay away from drinking water straight from the tap. Tap water can contain things that are detrimental to our health like chlorine and fluoride so I personally stay away from it. So I recommend getting a really good water filtration device. I personally have a Berkey filtration device and in my opinion it's probably one of the best water filtration systems out there. I have the Big Berkey. So the Berkey has these black Berkey filtrage cartridges, which are called elements. They're capable of filtering pathogenic bacteria and parasite cysts. They can remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides, pesticides, VOCs, organic solvents. They also reduce nitrates, nitrites, and heavy metals such as lead and mercury. So I'm very happy with my Berkey filtration system. I've owned it for years and I highly recommend it. And if you're wondering what filter I use in the shower, because it is really important to filter your shower water as well get the chlorine out it's going to help with your hair with your skin um, so i use the sprite water filter i will link the one i use down below i used to have the universal universal shower head but now since i have a hose shower nozzle i have the hose filtration thing of a jig and i really love it and for bath water i just add in some vitamin C powder and that instantly dechlorinates your bath water. Little trick. Another interesting way to filter water is by using shungite. Shungite is a stone found in Russia made up mostly of carbon and it's most often known as a stone that protects us from EMFs. However, it's also been used for centuries to filter water. 
You can make shungite water at home by putting your stones in water for a few days. There's regular shungite or elite shungite. I bought some elite shungite from Tucson a few years ago. There are a lot of knockoffs out there, so always buy from a reputable source. I can always do a separate video on shungite water if you want me to go into more detail. However, filters do remove things from the water and make it higher quality, but it doesn't address structuring the water. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. So to address that, I want to show you this Somovetic device that can actually help structure your water. And I wanna give a big thank you to Somovetic for sponsoring this video. The Somovetic is handmade. It has a frosted glass body and inside it contains semi-precious and precious stones and metals such as platinum, palladium, gold, and silver. So these metals and stones help harmonize your living environment and this can help mitigate negative effects from things like electro and magnetic Magnetic fields, also known as EMFs, so things like 4G, 5G, Wi-Fi, etc. And they actually have seven models to choose from. I chose the Medic Green Ultra because this is their most popular water and it does everything. I wanted one that structured water because not all of the models do. So just by placing your jug or glass of water by the Somovetic, it's structuring the water and making it more like spring water quality. And I did ask Somovetic if it matters if your water is in glass or metal container, and they said that it needs to be in a glass container to get the structuring benefits. So since I have a Berkey filtration system and it's stainless steel, what I do is I just filter my water through the Berkey, put it in a glass vessel, and then put that right next to the Somovetic. And that's how I structure the water. So if you are interested in purchasing a Somovetic, you can get 10% off using my code COMHOME. And I will have that linked down below in the description so you can check it out. But yeah, it's a cool little device. And some other ways to structure water are through exposing the water to infrared light or using a device that will vortex the water. I've never done these before, so I'm not going to talk about that in this video. And what you store your water in and drink your water from can have an effect as well. One day I really want to invest in a glass carafe from Nature's Design. Their golden ratio design is supposed to shift unstructured, energetically dead water into structured and revitalized water that's similar to spring water. And it has a flower of life design on the bottom. And speaking of flower of life, this is a beautiful flower of life glass drinking vessel from Alive Waters and it's just the most beautiful little drinking vessel I've ever seen. So you can put your spring water in there, drop a little rose quartz crystal. Ooh. I love this. It just, it makes drinking water so much more special. And we can also program our water through positive intention and prayer. So if you're interested in learning about this, I recommend reading Dr. Emoto's work, like his book, Hidden Messages in Water. Dr. Emoto was a Japanese scientist and he showed how environmental influences program water. So when positive emotions of love and gratitude were shown to the water, the crystal structures were beautifully formed. And when negative emotions of hatred were shown to the water, the water crystals looked deformed and really unpleasant. And Dr. Emoto also studied how sound affects water. The Emoto music studies demonstrated how certain types of sound, like classical music, generated beautiful crystalline patterns, while heavy metal generated ugly and distorted crystalline formations. So this really shows that we can positively affect our water using intention, prayer, and sound. You can also energetically enhance and program your water with gemstones. To make gemstone infused water, I use a clean tumbled rose quartz crystal, large enough so you don't choke, and then just set an intention and let that sit in your water jug. Just be careful because not all crystals can be put in water and some can actually be toxic if ingested. So do your research before. And if you're worried about this, you can do the indirect method instead. So you'll just fill a bowl with water and place your crystals in a glass cup and place the cup in a bowl of water so the gems aren't actually soaking in the water. There's also many cool bottles and pitchers you can buy specifically for making gem waters. 
You can also use flower essences in your water. Flower essences contain the vibrational energy of the flowers and can have a positive effect on your emotional well-being. So this can include feeling more confident and creative, more happiness, being more forgiving, more mental clarity and focus. I'm a big fan of the Lotus Way flower essences and Bach flower remedies are another popular brand. So just put a few drops in your water and sip away. And speaking of adding flowers into your water, one of my favorite things to add into my water is pure rose rose nectar. This is just made from organic rose extract and organic rose oil from fresh Bulgarian rose petals. Bulgarian roses are a super herb and this rose nectar helps raise your vibration, elevates your mood, rejuvenates your skin, and much more. And it makes your water smell like a fresh bouquet of roses. And I have a little secret to share with you all. I don't actually like drinking straight water. It bores me and I'm rarely ever thirsty. So for me, I have to come up with ways to make drinking water more fun. But luckily, I'm gonna share those tips with you right now. So here are some ideas to help you drink more water throughout the day and keep hydrated and yeah. So my first tip is to add something into the water that you're drinking. This is gonna make it taste better. It's gonna give you extra health benefits. And there's so many different things you can put in your water. I love making an herbal tea from my water so I get the benefits from the herbs. And since it's summer, I've been loving iced tea. So to make my iced tea, I just make a cup of herbal tea and then I add in a little bit of raw honey to sweeten it up and then some frozen fruit to cool it down. And it's like an instant healthy iced tea. Or of course you can just make your herbal tea, cool it down and store it in the fridge. My next tip is to drink a tall glass of water first thing in the morning. You can squeeze some lemon in the water, you can um, put a green powder in the water. I use Athletic Greens every single morning. It just makes your water taste really good and you get all those health benefits as well. So I think if you have the water straight away when you wake up, it gets it out of the way because if you wait to drink water before you know it, it's gonna be 11 p.m. and you're gonna be chugging a gallon of water and then you're gonna be waking up in the night having to go pee. So just get it done straight in the morning and throughout the day, you'll probably notice that it's easier to drink water and you'll just feel better. Another tip is to make it a habit and a routine. So choose a time of the day when you know you're gonna be drinking water. So a tip would be to have a bring a glass of water into the shower with you and then just drink it by the end of the shower. Know that you've had that water to drink. Or let's say it's something like before I check my email, I'm gonna drink a glass of water. But if you make it a habit and a routine, you're gonna be able to be more consistent with it and it's gonna be easier to remember to stay hydrated. And then another tip is to fill up a big jug of water and then tell yourself, I'm gonna to have to complete this jug of water before I go to bed tonight. And just having that visual reminder of the water right there, it'll make it so much easier to remember to drink the water. And it's kind of like a goal, like I, I need to drink this water and yeah. I don't know, I think that helps. So those are my tips and thoughts on how to make your water as healthy as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to follow me on Instagram if you're not already, at Holistic Habits, and I will see you in my next video.